My name's Derek, and today I want to show you how to use the Glazy feature Target and Solve to recreate a Song Dynasty Celadon Glaze in just one minute. Here I am in my Glazy homepage, and I'll go to the Analyses section. The Analyses section contains all of the analyses that you've entered into Glazy. I can search or sort by the type of analysis. For instance, I'm going to search here for Glaze. Now Glazy shows me all of the Glaze analyses I've entered into Glazy. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose the Rue Celadon Glaze. This analysis comes from Nigel Wood's excellent Chinese Glazes. In Chinese Glazes on page 127, you'll find the analysis for this Glaze. Here you can see I've entered in the analysis exactly as in Nigel Wood's book. Silica, alumina, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, titania, and iron. You'll notice that this analysis doesn't have a loss on ignition because it's an analysis of an already fired glaze. Using the percentage analysis, Glazy has already calculated the formula, the mole percent formula, and the UMF. And you can see from the UMF that it represents kind of a typical glaze. Click on the calculator button and the analysis is now shown within the calculator. Here we're showing the UMF analysis. By clicking target, we're going to create a new recipe with a target analysis based on the Rue Salad and Glaze analysis. So you'll see under original analysis, the analysis is the same as that for the Rue Salad on Glaze. All right, at this point, I could just begin filling in materials. But today we're going to use the Solve feature. After clicking the Solve button, Glazy will automatically try to recreate the analysis using basic materials. You'll see that the new analysis matches the original analysis. Now how does Glazy do this? Well, for each oxide in the original analysis, it tries to match a basic material. For instance, for alumina, it tries to use kaolin. For potassium, it tries to use potassium feldspar. For calcium, it'll try to use whiting or wollastonite. For magnesium, it'll try to use talc or dolomite. For iron, it'll just try to use red iron oxide, and so on. Now these basic materials are just theoretical materials. So ideally, we will go back to the recipe and substitute the theoretical materials with real-world materials that we have in our studio. So for kaolin, I'm going to use garlic kaolin. You'll notice that once I substitute garlic kaolin, the analysis changes and is different than the original analysis. But by clicking Solve, Glazy will recalculate the recipe so that garlic kaolin can be used for this analysis. Next, I'm going to substitute potassium feldspar with a real potassium feldspar that I have in my studio. In this case, I'll use Mahavir. Once again, I click Solve, and Glazy automatically recalculates the recipe to meet the original analysis. Instead of whiting, I'm going to choose wollastonite, which is also a source of calcium. Clicking Solve automatically recalculates the recipe. And for dolomite, I'll choose talc, which is also a source of magnesium. Notice here, instead of typing talc, I can just type the oxide itself, MgO, and Glazy will show me a list of materials that I have in my studio that contain the oxide MgO. For red iron oxide, I can also replace it with another type of iron. In this case, I'll choose yellow iron oxide. As for titanium, I could leave it in and it would slightly modify the color of my celadon. But in this case, I'm just going to take it out. All right, now we have a recipe. The new analysis looks exactly like the original analysis. 
I click Save, and the recipe is saved in Glazy. Looking at this recipe, you'll notice that it's a revision of Roux Salad on Glaze, my original analysis. Scrolling down, I can enter in a batch amount. Let's just make a batch of 100 grams for testing. One word of caution. Just because you can make a recipe from an analysis doesn't mean that it's going to fire well. We might try firing at cone 10, but that might be too high. We're also going to get very different results out of an oxidation atmosphere versus a reduction atmosphere. So that's the basics of how to use Glazy's target and solve feature to recreate ancient glazes. If you don't already have a copy, I highly recommend Nigel Wood's Chinese Glazes in which you'll find a lot of analyses for ancient glazes that you can use with the solve and target feature. Thanks.